This is BBC World News America. Reporting from Washington, I'm Jane O'Brien. Occupying Wall Street no more. The protesters are cleared from their New York City park. So where does the global movement go from here? This movement ignited uh, a national, international movement shows you there's such a hunger and a need and a desire, a timeliness that this is wanted. A New York judge rejected a bid by Occupy Wall Street protesters to bring their tents and sleeping bags back to a city park after they were evicted overnight. Good evening, I'm Jeffrey Brown. And I'm Margaret Warner. On the News Hour tonight, we get two views on striking a balance between the activists' right to protest and city officials' concerns about public health and safety. And that's it for us for now. Thanks for watching. I'm Bill Ritter. And I'm Liz Cho. World News with Diane Sawyer is coming up next. We leave you tonight with some shots of down at Lower Manhattan Zuccotti Park. We're going to have the very latest on the situation down there as protesters return to the area. Coming up tonight on Eyewitness News at 11 o'clock. Have a great night. Bye-bye. This is World News. Tonight, Sandusky speaks. The football coach accused of sexually abusing young boys. The man at the center of the Penn State scandal breaks his silence and says he's innocent, but at the same time... New York police evict the Occupy Wall Street protesters from the park where the movement started. Will they be back? Michelle Miller is covering. Dr. John LaPook on a new drug that can raise your good cholesterol. Welcome back, everybody. In just eight days, the plaza will be packed for this man. That's right, Justin Bieber will be performing live the day before Thanksgiving right here on our plaza. And that is not all, because we have something for everyone next week. Country star Rascal Flatts is up as well. And you know who we love? Regis! <laughs> he is here. It's a landmark week. Years. He's minutes. But first, survivors of gun violence will be testifying on Capitol Hill later today. They're calling on Congress for stronger background checks for gun buyers. It's become an especially hot issue ever since the January shooting in Tucson, Arizona, that killed six people and wounded Congresswoman Gabby. Well, has it, is it possible that teachers can actually bully students? One girl in Ohio, for her, on tape, caught on tape, teachers who were actually yelling at her, uh, saying things to her that you would never want your uh, teachers saying to your own children. We'll be hearing from her and her father and also some attorneys coming up this morning. All right, also ahead, we've all had the thought, what would it be like to get rich quick? We're going to take you behind the scenes of a new hit reality show where people... <laughs> I mean, it's legends all day long here. We're also going to join Robin for a really... This works out pretty well. All right, and Jamie Oliver is here. Oh, I love him. That's right, we sure do. <laughs> there he is. Yes, the maestro. He's got some healthy and affordable meals anyone can cook up for dinner tonight. He's so much fun. By the way, when did he stop calling himself the Naked Chef? Ten years ago, my love. Ten All years right. ago. Ask and answer. But I can be the Naked Chef for you and oh, any day because I love you, love you so much. What are you calling yourself now, Jamie? Uh, the um, very beautiful, older, slightly fatter <laughs> chef. <laughs> You know, All you're right. a man to love, Jamie. You can't wait to get in your kitchen. A lot to get to, so let's go inside right now. we got Natalie Morales at the news desk with all the headlines. Take it away, Natalie. All right, thanks. Good morning, Matt, Ann, and Ellen. Good morning, everyone. The former Penn State football coach indicted on child sex abuse charges says he is not a pedophile. However, in an exclusive Rock Center interview with NBC's and the background check system is supposed to stop them. We know that Jared Lofner had a, a drug arrest on his record. We know that he was not allowed to enlist in the military. Sexually attracted, you know, no, I, I enjoy young people. I, I love to be around them. Um, I, I, but no, I'm not sexually attracted to young boys. 
opinion on President Obama's policy in Libya, pausing at length and asking the reporter to then repeat his question and confirm exactly what happened in Libya. At one point, he attempted to excuse his inability to respond by saying, quote, I've got all this stuff twirling around in my head. Major developments overnight for the Occupy Wall Street protesters at New York's Zuccotti Park. Police in riot gear cleared them all out of their lower Manhattan encampment this morning, at least temporarily. NBC's Mara Scavocampo is there with more. Mara, good morning. Natalie, good morning. For the first time in almost two months, Zuccotti Park is clear of that protest camp. Early this morning, about a hundred, uh, several hundred rather, police officers in riot gear did move in. Now they asked protesters to leave so that their personal belongings could be cleared out and the park could be cleaned. They were told it would just be temporary. And while many left voluntarily, others did not. Some even chained themselves together to avoid that eviction. Eventually, the park was completely cleared out. About a hundred people were arrested there. Now, Mayor Michael. Bloomberg says this was all about safety and sanitation. He says that the protesters will be allowed back into the park later this morning, but he says that once they're allowed back in, they will have to obey the rules of the park. That includes things like no 